What up guys, and welcome to the 100,000 ADA Cardano NFT Portfolio Picker Challenge, where I'm allocating 100,000 ADA towards these different Cardano NFT projects, and we're gonna see how they do over the course of a year. I actually did this already about a year ago, and we averaged like 28%, which wasn't too great. So we're gonna see if we can actually beat that now that I have additional experience in the Cardano NFT field and experience just being a project founder. Now I wanna say before getting into this video that this is just my opinion, and for entertainment purposes. And if your project isn't on here, then I'm sorry about that. And if your project is on here and it doesn't do well, well, I'm also sorry about that. This is just my opinion. It's something to be fun and we're gonna see where we're at in a year. And without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Before going over the projects in this portfolio, I do have to tell you guys the different things that I was looking for in projects to make me think that they would be around in the course of a year and actually perform decently well if you just held these. The first thing that I was looking for was the value proposition. As someone who is buying this NFT project, what am I getting in return? Is it art-based? Is it community-based? Do I get some sort of exclusive membership? Is there some sort of passive income? What exactly is the value proposition? And if there isn't one, then it most likely didn't end up on the list. I'm also looking for overall branding and IP. This is something over the course of the year I found a lot more importance in. You can have a project build whatever you want, but if that branding or that IP isn't there, then people are just going to navigate and go to other projects where it is there and use their raffle platform or play their game. So this is something very important. I'm also taking a look at their founders to see if they're docs, if they can communicate well on different spaces, if they go on different spaces, if they're active in the community in general. And yeah, just if I think those founders have what it takes to really strategize and be a founder in this space. The next thing I'm looking for is the utility and vision. What exactly is their vision? What are they trying to achieve? very similar to a value proposition with the utility, what exactly are they trying to build and how is that really going to direct back to me as a holder when it comes to that utility? Next thing I'm looking for is the community strength. At the end of the day, guys, a founder or the founder's team is just one person or a couple people. It's really up to the community to believe whatever vision the leader or founder is setting. And because of that, it's important to see how strong that community is and how much conviction they have as well. The next thing I'm looking for is attention and relevancy generators. A lot of projects lose their relevancy and have a hard time getting attention. If they can't get attention and they can't find ways to create attention, then their project is just going to slowly die off. So I'm looking for projects that have some sort of ability to get that additional attention frequently. Next thing here, I'm looking at some of the analytics, such as the floor price history, their current and previous market caps, as well as their listing percentages. And these are just things that help me get more data and see the health of that project currently in the market. Now, the first project on our list is none other than Ape Society. And we're actually getting two of these for 5,875 ADA each. And this is the largest out of any allocation on our portfolio. The reason is, is I think Ape Society is building a lot of stuff. They're building a lot of sustainability models through all of their different landmarks. All of those different landmarks are going to have additional relevancy to the project. And if they can keep their society token valuable through these different landmarks, then these apes are going to be able to get the results of that and reap the rewards through that society token staking. Now, getting that token to be sustainable and hold its value is pretty difficult, but a lot of this token is already Already in circulation, I believe between 60 and 70%, and none of the utility has really been out yet. So I think overall, this is a pretty safe project to get into. I think they're doing a lot of stuff. Their branding is there, and it's probably the most well-rounded project in the entire space. Now, our next allocation is going to be Clay Nation, and we're going to be getting six of these for 1,950 ADA each for 11,700 ADA ADA total, which is right below eight society. So pretty much the same allocation. The reason we're going so hard in Clay Nation is there hasn't been a project that has gotten these top tier partnerships like Sandbox and Ledger than Clay Nation when it comes to Cardano. They have amazing partnerships. All of their team is known. They work very hard. They have a well-balanced squad. They know Charles Hoskinson, great relationship with the community. All that Clay Nation is really missing is their next leg of the journey here, which is going to be their whole entire metaverse section and gamified theme. Now, 
how well is that whole world and metaverse going to do? I have no idea. But as far as betting on teams, this team and this community are very well rounded. And I feel very comfortable having them in my portfolio. Now, the next thing here, people are probably going to say I'm biased and I probably am biased, but we're going to load up on five jelly cubes for a total of 10,750 ADA. In my opinion, Jelly Cubes are just a really great long-term play because we aren't just relying on the Cardano NFT market. A lot of guys that get one of these Jelly Cubes, especially your first Jelly Cube has the most amount of value, have been able to make more money from the different plays and information and skills and networking and resources than they're spending on the NFT itself. And that's why I think Jelly Cubes are gonna do really well in the long run. It doesn't matter if it's meme coins. It doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin. It doesn't matter if it's Cardano DeFi. We have been on top of everything. And when it comes to marketing, it's insane that I'm a YouTuber where as I grow my YouTube channel over time, get more following as the space grows, more people are going to know about me, more people are going to know about the project and they're going to want to get involved. That is also just the alpha side of things. We also have a lot of other things that we've been working on, such as our mystery chest, which can give us a ton of attention every single month, as well as have a really great mint for whitelist for everyone that's a jelly cube holder. We have our site and our platform that we're really going to, you know, market and push soon here. And that platform is going to be updated constantly for our new Jelly Chunks token, which is going to come out sometime over the next couple months. And that token itself is game changing. I think that's going to revolutionize how projects across all chains do their utility tokens in the future. So yes, this is my own project. Is it a little crazy for me to have, you know, five of these that we're buying on here potentially, but I'm very bullish on my myself and the team and the different things we're building. So it'd be crazy for me not to include jelly cubes, especially a higher allocation. Next thing here is going to be Mallard Order, and we are getting 14 of these Mallard Orders for a total of 10,710 ADA, which is pretty close within 40 ADA of Jelly Cubes. I like Mallard Order a lot. I think Demos is really smart. They have a lot of things going on. They have one of the strongest raiding communities. A ton of catalysts is coming, and I just think that they're very well-rounded when you look at their art, when you look at their design, when you look at their marketing, when you look at their planning. They get it. They understand it, and I think that Mallard Order Order is going to be here to stay. Next project we're going to look at here is Goofy Gophers Mining Club. I hate how I can't just type in GGMC. But Goofy Gophers Mining Club is a project that came out not even a couple months ago, but is already showing a lot of promise. The floor price has only gone up. Their main utility is literally mining, which once again, kind of like Jelly Cubes, is not solely reliant on the Cardano NFT space. Even if ADA goes down a lot, it doesn't matter because they're not invested in ADA. They're invested in miners, which are getting Bitcoin and other things, which can be converted to ADA. So I really like this project. Their holders are strong. There's always a little bit listed. And I think even though you can get higher rewards than their mining rewards in something like Indigo or some of these other places, I just think it's such a solid and well-ran project. And if I'm looking for projects that have sustainable revenue streams and that are going to be here in the long term, it's hard not to include Goofy Gophers Mining Club. Next thing here is going to be your Cardano Crocs Club. This is a project that has a ton of developers, guys. They're constantly building a lot of things and it's pretty ambitious and they are burning through some capital right now just because they're paying for so many devs, but the amount of stuff they're building is honestly ridiculous. They've got a lot of guys working on different aspects in their swamp lands. They're gonna onboard a lot of projects to that. They're building these different revenue streams and different businesses that revolve around their C4 token. And I think the leadership and marketing has also been strong as well on top of them having a strong community and low amount listed so even though these have gone on a run up to this 908 a level i do think that this is a project that has a high likelihood of being here next bull run next project here is going to be our Space Buds. Now, maybe you're surprised that Space Buds is coming in at two Space Buds, about 4,500 ADA of our allocation, which is about 5%, which you know is a pretty decent size of our portfolio. The reason that I have to include Space Buds is that it's the number one project in terms of volume. It's the OG project, and pretty much everyone knows about Space Buds, and they're gonna get endless marketing simply because they've had more volume than any other project. The reason I'm not buying more Space Buds is because I think that you can make more money getting into some of the plays that I had said before. But if you're looking for a really safe play that you don't really have to pay attention to, that won't really mess things up per se, then Space Buds is probably gonna be a really good bet. And that's why I had to pick up some Space Buds. 
Next thing here that I wanted to buy is either the Cornucopia's GTI Javelins or their Jets, which are pretty much going for the same price right now. The reason that I'm getting their Jets and Javelins is that it's a lot easier and a lot more simple to sell these different Jets and Javelins than to mess with their land as well as custom domes. You have all those different sizes and rarities and domes versus land. Like it's just a tough thing to sell guys. It really is. You have a really hard time moving some of those larger land values and even when it comes to price appreciation if the if a small common goes up too much now all of a sudden you're going to be competing against the uncommons and rares or maybe even medium commons right so i personally like investing in the actual javelins and jets more if i'm banking on the success of cornucopias and you're even going to be able to rent these out and different things in the future now cornucopias is building a lot of stuff yes it's one of those metaverse gaming plays who where we don't know how well it's going to do but i definitely want some exposure to their ecosystem and i feel like this is the easiest and simplest simplest way at least for me. The next project here is going to be dirt birds and the reason that I wanted to buy some dirt birds a at 450 which is about 3600 is because I think they have a strong community, they have a really great culture, their founder is very, you know, transparent, even makes different videos. I think they have a lot of stuff building and planned and they've already made a decent amount of revenue minting different projects out there such as Alley Cats and they even partnered with Mutants to make their Fortress Labs, which I'm sure they're going to team up and build a lot of stuff as well. I do think Dirt Birds are kind of in their boring phase right now, but I think this is a project that's going to be around for the long term, and that's why I wanted to have some in my portfolio. The next thing here is going to be Stag Alliance, and this is a little bit more of a speculative pick. We are buying 25 of these at 140, but the reason I'm doing this is because I think that these guys have so much upwards potential, and they really launched during a bad time. They have 1,400 holders, which is a good amount, and even though they have a decent amount listed, a lot of their utility utility and gamification has yet to come out. And I've talked to Ashley and some of their guys on the team, and they're really amazing people to work with. I think that they have their right intentions for their holders, and they have a lot of stuff planned and are really on top of a lot of their shit when it comes to organization and taking their time with things. Has it taken a while for this fantasy gamified world to come out? It has a little bit if you because they've been building for a while, but in all honesty, once that comes out, which it was looking really good, I think that you can have a lot more eyes on the project. And if they can have different revenue generation models within that and really get a lot of people to pay attention to it, then I think they can really take this IP and brand to the next level. And I and I really think it's just one of those really crazy projects where they've gotten a decent amount of volume, they have a lot of holders, and a lot of the catalyst has yet to come. Next thing here that we're buying is actually nine mutant crocs. This can be the crocs, mice, or toads, guys. And once again, the reason that I'm interested in these different mutants is because the actual listing percentage on all of them is pretty low. They have a strong community. They have one of the highest revenue revenue generating platforms, which is their raffle platform as well as staking platform out of any Cardano NFT project. And they have a lot of stuff that's building behind the scenes with dirt birds once again. So I think it's one of it's one of those projects that have a high likelihood of being around in the future and building different stuff in the space. Now they could work on their marketing a little bit, but all those people going on their raffle platform and staking with their projects is attention every single time. And that's why I think they can remain relevant as long as they continue to be dominant with those different revenue streams. Next thing here is going to be our Mikosis. We're going to buy 10 of these Mikosis for 310 ADA each. They are the furthest along in any sort of game development out of any Cardano NFT project. You can already play their breeding game. They're coming out with a PVP kind of like card game system. And a lot of people in their community are really diamond and handed when it comes to their website when it comes to their marketing when it comes to a lot of aspects of the project they do a great job and i think if they can onboard a lot more people in the future to their game then it should do pretty well here next thing here is going to be your boss cat rocket club and we're going to be getting five of these boss cats at 500 ada each for a total of 3100 no 2550 ada the reason that i am getting some of these boss cats is you can't deny that they're the number one project 
for cats on the Cardano blockchain. They've had a ton of volume and they've been in their boring phase for a while with a lot more stuff coming. I don't like how much dilution they have with all of their different assets and they said they weren't gonna have more assets and then they came out with the Ordinals version and sold all of those, you know, so there's a little bit of like trust even for me right now, but regardless of that, they have a very strong community. A lot of people really rep these guys. They've been holding that 500 ADA floor very well and when it comes to their whole entire boss plan, Planet world and ecosystem. They've been showing some sneak peeks with that. And I think that whole entire thing uh, should do relatively well. They also have their boss coin that's supposed to come out sometime this year and a bunch of other catalysts. So I think it would be a crime if we didn't at least have a couple of these in our portfolio. Next thing here is going to be Goombles. And the reason I want to include Goombles is they've been holding this 100 ADA floor pretty well. Farmer Nash is very good at marketing. He really knows his stuff. He has a lot of experience in games. And I think that as far as in investing in a founder, this is a pretty cheap buy to invest in someone like Nash, in my opinion. I think they're gonna build up this brand and IP well. They're gonna have you know different candies and different things all going around their goombles and different merchandise. And I think if they can make a fun tower defense game, which is definitely within reason when it comes to their whole budget, it's a lot easier to make this tower defense game, that these could do pretty well over the long term. Now there is going to be dilution when they add more NFTs in the future. So a lot of this is going to depend on how successful that game is, but I think it's worth at least having what? 2,500 ADA of our portfolio, about 2.5% into Goombles just on a bet on Farmer Nash in general. And once again, kind of like Stag Alliance, they just released at a really shitty time. Next thing here that we're looking into is going to be Kotaz. And right now they're around 100 to 120 ADA. They have been going on a little run recently. The reason I have Kotaz in here is even though it's three times less than their mint price right now, I think that once they have all their landmarks and you're able to get discounts on all their landmarks, the value just speaks for itself. There isn't some BS utility or something like that, but instead it's a lot of different value and discounts from actually using this passport and using their different landmarks. And if they're able to make their various landmarks good, such as their stake pool, which is the plunge pool, or if they're able to do that in their new Levi, which is their lending, uh, then all of a the sudden these passports will just continue to get more value and be leveled up the more they use their platform. So that's why I think being part of the Ape Society family for only 100-ish ADA and being able to get those different benefits is probably not a bad long-term play. Next thing here is going to be ADA inmates, and we're buying three of these inmates at 620 for about 1900 ADA. Now we would be buying a lot more, and I spoke in a CNFT market update video maybe two weeks ago, talking about how I thought ADA inmates were a good buy, and I was actually thinking of buying some. This was at 200 ADA. So literally guys, within the past week, they went from 200 ADA all the way up to 620 ADA, and they've actually still maintained this low listing, which is really great. They just came out with their poster and staking for their smoke token. So people have been able to participate in that, very similar to how Ape Society does their things. Now, what's interesting about inmates is I would be buying more, but because it already went on such a massive pump, I don't wanna buy too many at this price because I don't know where price is gonna settle. I also don't know how well they're going to make different sinks or wells for their different smoke token to actually provide that long-term value. That's something that Ape Society is dealing with right now and they're building out a ton of different landmarks. I'm not exactly sure what ADA inmates plans on doing to make sure that smokes token is valuable so that their overall ecosystem makes sense. So if they can get more concrete or if I can get more information on that or if they can do what Ape Society is doing and build a lot of these different landmarks in a sense, then that's gonna be even more bullish for ADA inmates and they also have an extremely strong community if we're talking about community here. Next thing that I want to buy here is about three or a mob. We're going to get this for about 1600 ADA. The reason I am buying some or a mob here is because I do think that the art and the IP is very, very strong. The founder already had a lot of significance and a lot of followers on Instagram. A lot of people really fell in love with their art. They've been holding this 500 ADA pretty well, and I think it's pretty hard to mess up their whole entire branding strategy. They just recently had a partnership with a major fashion brand, and I think if they can get a lot of people interested outside of the Ore Mob NFT holders into their different fashion drops and really turn this into a luxury or streetwear fashion brand, then you might have people wanting to 
to get there or a mob just to participate in those different fashion sales and those different merchandise sales. The reason we're only buying about 1500 or about 1.5% of our portfolio is because I know how difficult it is to really make this art and brand an IP type project. And it's going to be very hard for a lot of projects to pull that off. But if they're able to pull that off, which I think out of any project on Cardano, they have a pretty good chance outside of like Clay and Ape Society, then, you know, this project can do very well. So that's why we have to include some of them in our list. Next thing in our list is going to be introverts. And once again, we're buying about nine of these introverts for around 1,500 ADA or about 1.5% of our portfolio. Now this is a little bit more of a speculative play, but their actual floor has held very well. And they have a lot of people in their community that are pretty diamond handed, especially the whales in this project. They have a lot of different things coming with their soul portals and their artifacts and basically being able to craft a lot of different things. And I think that their art is also very unique as well. And their founder is very dedicated and honestly a really awesome dude when it comes to this space. So it's a little bit more of a speculative play, but I think if they can gain more attraction and just more attention in the future, that these are going to be set in a good position to go on a run. Next thing here is going to be her monsters. The reason I'm looking at her monsters is because I think that this is a very well-rounded project. I think the art is cool and unique. They have a good team of marketers as well as developers. They have a lot of stuff coming in their Los Mahedres, you know, city. They have all these gamified experiences. They just have a lot of stuff coming. And once again, they released at a bad time of Stag Alliance and Goombles where a lot of people were just listing these right away. And that's why the distribution and, you know, how many people are in the project as well as how the floor is doing has been bad for those three projects I talked about. But I think Her Monsters just has a lot of positive things going on. And I think as more people start to learn about what they're doing, they could start to go on a run. So that's why I wanted to at least have some in the portfolio. The next project here is going to be Chains of War. And we're gonna buy 12 of these for 100 ADA each. Once again, more of a speculative play, but Chains of War have been holding this 100 ADA price like a stable coin. It pretty much always stays there. And even though they have a smaller community, their community is definitely diamond handed. They have a whole entire game that they're developing right now. And it looks like the progression has been going very well, especially for a smaller team. I think that their game looks amazing, especially compared to the other games out there. And if they can get people to play this game, then a lot of these Chains of War could do very well. Now they do suffer in terms of marketing in my opinion, but the game, if it's good enough, will hopefully market itself. So once again, a little bit more of a speculative play, but one to have on your radar. The next project here is once again, more of a speculative play and that is Old Money. Now Old Money has very, very smart uh, founders. They have a very smart community, a little bit cult-like, but they are also building a ton of different stuff that a lot of people don't know about. One of the difficulties with Old Money is a lot of people don't know about it. It's almost too unique. It's almost too cultish and they have a really hard time getting new people into their ecosystem. But as far as developing a lot of stuff and as far as uniqueness, I have not seen a project as unique as old money out of any Cardano NFT project when it comes to their community, when it comes to their tech, when it comes to their ideas, literally when it comes to anything. One of the issues that I do have with old money is just the amount of dilution that they have. They have their inflation times. They have the campaign materials. They have the fucks. They have the win boy. They have their MX bills, they have the back of the bills. I mean, they have a lot of different stuff in their ecosystem, so it's very hard to navigate and it's a lot of dilution to overcome if you wanna see appreciation of the assets. But I do trust the old money team as far as a long-term thing. And I think in the future, if they can survive to the next bull run, there's gonna be people that really pay attention to this project simply because of its uniqueness and everything that they're building. And their whole ideology behind this worthless currency kind of fits with the theme going on right now in the world itself. And I think this could be one of the things that really attracts you know, people that are thinking deeper about all these external circumstances that's happening in the world. So I'm not putting a ton of money into it, but I do want to have some exposure to old money. And that's why we're putting about 1200 ADA. The next project here is dead pixels. And we're only going to get one of these for 930 ADA or about 1% of our portfolio. Now I was actually thinking of having more dead pixels simply because they are pretty low right now and they do have a low listing percentage, but I just need to see a little bit more development with their game 
before I feel super, super confident on it. They've kind of been going on a downtrend for a long time now, and there haven't really been too many updates or that game coming out or just excitement around the project. So I'm a little bit more careful right now. If that game comes out and it starts doing super well and starts grabbing a lot of people's attention and a lot of people start playing it, I might look into investing in it. But if that game flops for whatever reason and people aren't playing it and the whole passive income aspect of this project doesn't come to fruition, then that can not... I, won't, I don't want to say that'll be a death sentence of Dead Pixels, but it would definitely hurt the project a lot. So a lot is really relying on this game. It's the main focus of the project. It's the main thing that they're doing. It's what's been building for a while. So I at least want some exposure to that, especially since they're one of the larger projects out there when regarding market cap as well as floor, as well as the total volume. But I don't want to be too heavy into it just in case that they aren't able to get traction on the number one thing that they're building. For the second to last project, we're actually going to scoop up six of these keyboard warriors internet cafe for a total of 900 ADA. So once again, a lower allocation and a lot more of a speculative play. But the reason that I'm paying attention to this is because the founders are very dedicated. They've already made millions and millions of dollars in the web two world through their different businesses and their whole entire quick verse, which is a big thing that they're building with all these mini games and gamification and their quick token is going to be coming out pretty soon here. So if they can gain a lot of traction on that and get different projects involved, such as the Molga Kongs, which are going to release sometime in this month. And if they can give that genuine value to their token, then I think this project could do very well. They have this whole entire retro feel. It's very, very unique. And even though it's more of a speculative play and they're planning on doing these 3D Keyboard Warriors Internet Cafe, which is even more dilution of the project. So even though these different things are happening, I think that it's worth at least scooping some of them as that speculative play. For the very last part of our allocation, we are are going to have Yumi Naru's, which are the main kind of OG to the whole Yumi universe. Like I said in my last video or like my first buy of this, I think that they have a good IP, they have good branding, they have that game coming out, they have PvP, kind of like a Pokemon type world type deal. And if they're able to deliver on that, then this project is going to do exceptionally well. It is kind of in its boring phase. It's always a little bit more risky getting into some of these different game focused projects, but I think that they have a lot going on. And one of the negatives with Yumi guys is just the amount of assets they have. This is very very hard for different people to get on top of and it's a lot of dilution to overcome to get to that appreciation side but it's definitely a project that I think is deserving to fit in our portfolio albeit a smaller allocation overall just so you guys can see kind of like a chart visualization of how we're spending our allocation this is what it looks like you have ape society clay nation jelly cubes mallard order and ggmc well I guess also ccc being the bulk majority of our funds and then you have Space Buds, Cornucopias, Dirt Birds, Stags, and Mutants kind of being the middle of the road or the middle of the pack. And then you have the Makosi, Boss Cat, Rocket Club, Goombles, Kotaz, Ada Inmates, Ore Mob, Introverts, Her Monster, Chains of War, Old Money, and Dead Pixels being a smaller allocation of our portfolio with every single thing in our portfolio at least making up roughly 1% of our total allocation with some of our larger projects such as Ape Society, Clay, Jelly Cubes, and Mallard Order both getting about 10% of the allocation each. So yes, I do realize that about 50% of the allocation here is within these top five projects, but the reason I did that is because I think they're probably some of the more safer projects when it comes to surviving till the next bull run. If you're doing a long-term investment, which is kind of what this portfolio is about, because honestly, I'd be getting in and out of a lot of these different trades if I wasn't just long-term holding. But since this is a one-year holding challenge, I really want to be in projects or at least have my bulk of my money in projects that I think are going to be here or at least be relevant by then. Some of these other projects, even though I really like them right now, a lot can change in a year, just like my past video where I was picking some of these metaverse projects where a lot of these metaverse projects really went to shit. So yeah, this is my overall portfolio here. Once again, if your project isn't in here, I'm sorry. This is just like what came to my mind without getting into like a hundred different projects for you to hold in your portfolio. So yeah, guys, we're going to see in about a year from now. Uh, we're starting right now on July. I think it's July. No, it's June 13th of 2023. And we're going to see where we're at in terms of ADA value valuation as well as US dollar valuation in about a year from now.
and hopefully we can beat that 28% number. But who the hell knows, guys, because this could be a very extended bear market and things can get a lot worse here. But yeah, that wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if I missed a project, if you agree with my portfolio, if you would change some things, if I don't have something that should be on here or if I have something on here that I shouldn't have on here. Let me know because I'm curious what your guys' opinions are and how you would personally set this up. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in a year.